Hi everyone, today I want to show you the use of COMIPMT and COMPRINC functions to calculate the cumulative interest and principal. When you pay back a loan, each payment has a principal component and an interest component. Payments early in a loan's life consist mostly of paying down the interest, while payments late in the loan's life are mostly entirely principal. You can determine the cumulative interest and principal you have paid on a loan by using CUM IPMT and CUM PRINC functions. That's cumulative interest payment and cumulative principal payment. To calculate the total principal and total interest paid over a specific starting period to an ending period, you need to know a number of things. First is the loan rate. I have that in cell C3 here and we are assuming it to be 5%. That's an annual rate. So we need to know the number of periods per year. That's the number of payments. If you're going to make monthly payments, which is by far the most ar common arrangement, that will be 12. Now you have the number of periods total in the loan. That's 360. So we know it's a 30 year loan. It's 360 divided by 12. Next is the present value and that is the amount we are borrowing and this will be $4 million. Next, you need to know the starting period. We'll be assuming the period one, so the very first payment and the ending period will be 12 for our first example. And finally, type, which indicates whether your payment is due at the end of the period, which is by far the most common, that's zero, or at the beginning of the period, which is one. So let's go ahead and create our first formula. So I'll go down in cell C11, type in equal sign and use the cumulative function formula, which is C-U-M-P-R-I-N-C, left parenthesis. So now you can see all the arguments which we need to calculate the cumulative interest rate between a specified time period on our loan payment. Starting with rate of interest, since this is an annual interest rate, we need to divide it by the number of payments we would be making in that year, which is cell C4. Comma, we need to know the number of periods over which we would be paying off the loan. So that's in cell C5. Comma, present value, that's the amount of money we would be borrowing from bank or other businesses. And starting period as 1 in cell C7 and end period of 12 in cell C8 and type 0, assuming we would be paying the loan payments at the end of the month. Right parenthesis and enter. So the total cumulative interest, I'm sorry, the total cumulative principal you would be paying is close to $60,000 or $59,000. The negative sign indicates it's a cash outflow. If you want to see it as a positive number, you just need to input negative sign in front of the formula and you'll get a positive number. So to calculate the total cumulative interest in first year. What I'm gonna do is double click here, copy this formula and put an equal sign here, a negative sign and paste it. With just a small adjustment, I am going to put C-U-M, I, PMT function. This is the formula to calculate the total cumulative interest between specified time periods and hit enter. You can see it's close to $2,000. Um, excuse me, $200,000. We see that the total interest is three times, basically the total principal. We can see how those values change by changing the starting period and ending period. So instead of the first year, let's look at the fifth year. So the fifth year would be the start with 49, with month 49, and end uh, with month 60. So I'll go to the cell C7, starting period type 49, and press enter. And then we get an error because our ending period is earlier than our starting period. So I'll type in cell C8, the number 60, enter, and we see that the value is a little bit closer. Principal is close to 72,000, and the total interest is close to 186,000. If we change to the last set of payments, so we have instead of 49, we have 349 in C7 and then 360 in cell C8. 
we see that we paid almost entirely principal of to fifty thousand dollars versus six thousand dollars of interest so you can see the later you get in the term of the loan the more equity you're going to get out of your investment thank you